Hey guys! Okay, so I'm doing a tutorial on this look, and it is Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is one of my all-time favorite childhood scary movies. This and Hocus Pocus are like my all-time favorite for Halloween time. So I just love it so much, and I've always kind of really liked Sally and just kind of like her like eerie awkwardness. I just really, really like the whole ragdoll look and I've never been a ragdoll or anything like that so I totally took her character and tried to make it come to life by using lots of drugstore products on my face here and usually Sally has like orangish red hair uh, in the video but um, I don't have a wig for that and I'm being like super stingy this Halloween I'm just trying to like make use of everything that's like in my house and I just don't want to spend any money so hopefully I figure that out. I did want to show you guys one of my looks for the weekend so I'm really excited to wear this out. I think it's going to be so fun and uh, it's really really easy to do and I hope you guys stay tuned for the tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. First I'm going to apply a foundation. This is Wet n Wild's foundation in ivory. It's the lightest shade to pale up my skin. I'm just going to apply this all over with my fingers and this is going to be a base so that the shadow we use on top is going to stick better. To go on top of that foundation I'm going to take L'Oreal's eyeshadow duo in Animated. It has a matte white and blue and I'm going to start out with the white and just apply it on top of the foundation I just did. So it's going to stick well to the face and really start to give me the skin color that I want for Sally. Which is a very muted blue type color. So now I'm going to swirl my Kabuki brush into both of the shadows. And it's going to start really giving me that tinted smurf blue look. Which is what we want. She has that blue tint to her skin. So it really helps having the eyeshadows next to each other just swirl it together. Applying it to the chest and the neck as well. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking a black matte shadow carbon. And I'm going to apply this into the sockets of my eyes. Just kind of giving a nice cut crease. And I'm going to blend it into the crease with the black. And I want to hook it on the outside as well. So you want to go hook it around to the lower lash line. And I'm going to take a black pencil and put it on my waterline since my waterline looks really naked right now. So just fill that in and then go back in with the carbon and just smoke out that lower lash line. I've added false lashes and now for the lips I'm using Revlon's lipstick in Plum. I'm just going to apply that all over the lips for Sally's kind of reddish berry look on her lips. Now for the fun part. I'm going to use a liquid liner by L'Oreal with a very fine tip to help me with precision to make the stitches. Sally has three very distinct stitchings on her face. Two that come from the mouth and they're black and have these little stitching cross pieces going across. You can go randomly. I'm just kind of doing them different diagonal shapes and a couple I'm going to put an X through. So we're just giving a stitching effect and again go from the corner of the mouth and go up to the side and just do short strokes through it. The liquid liner can dry out pretty quickly so make sure you keep re-dipping so that it's inky black when you apply it because it makes it hard to go over because Especially if you have shaky hands, it's really hard to do. The third stitching is across the eye. So you want to do it underneath the eye and try to make sure it matches up. And the eyebrow kind of gets in the way, so just go over it as best you can a couple times. Just continue doing the same thing short little strokes of stitching. You can do a couple X's in there if you want to kind of change it up. Sally has these three stitches but if you want to add more by all means you can be creative with this to kind of add more to it.
Lastly, the neck, do the same technique as on the face with the stitching. Do a nice line across the throat to give the idea that there's stitching there. Just do the same kind of thing, maybe even a little thicker of a line. And my neck will be a little well more blended for Halloween night, but I kind of did a weak job on the neck. But um, yeah, I'll definitely have my chest and neck more blended and more colored. So just do the same thing and you're almost done.